Hey guys, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a really cute pig design that I came up with while I was doing line work. So this particular design is exclusive. I don't think I've ever seen anybody have done anything like it. So um, it does use a 1260 and I believe that most of the tutorials that are out there use two 260s. I was using two 260s simply because this little uh, critter is a chubby animal. But in this case, um, I used one 260. Um, and again, I was doing this uh, when there was a line and somebody asked for it and I needed to do something quick use one 260 so that it could be fast and it just clicked and just like with anything i think that once you start doing something over and over you come up with your own your own way of doing things so in this case this is um, something that i came up with and i'm extremely satisfied with so let me teach you how to do it um, if you follow the steps there is uh really nothing you can't learn so if you follow the steps, you don't have to do 20 plus balloons and practice and practice and practice like I had to do it. I'm giving you the secrets. All right, so let's get started. So this is again a 260. And in this case, you're not going to pump it up all the way. You're gonna leave a lot of tail. Let out some air, tie. And as you can see, there's a lot of tail. And the reason for that is because there's gonna be a lot of twisting. All right, so the most challenging part of this design is probably the tulip nose. And it's called the tulip um, step because it's gonna look like a tulip. That's uh, how you make a tulip with a balloon. You can make roses, you can make regular daisies, flowers, sunflowers. Uh, you can make tulips. So, but in this case, I'm gonna use it for the snout and this is how you do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you have enough slack and this is going to be pushed in with your finger and try to make it soft uh, because you don't want it to pop. So you're gonna bring the slack and you're gonna push it in and you're gonna find it and just be careful there and you're going to find it oops so that's what you you want to be careful with that i'm trying not to pop it but you hold it and you twist it and that's what's going to lock it into place and now you have the beginning of the face and that's the snout okay the next step is part of the face it's going to be about a three finger bubble and that's going to be part of the face the next step is the little ears and it's going to be two bubbles each of them are going to be pinch twist and i'll show you what that means so you make a one inch bubble hold it pull it pinch it and twist and that's the first little ear. And then next, next little bubble, same size, same thing. It's gonna be a pinch twist. Hold it, pull it, pinch it, twist. And now you have two ears, and so far this is what you have. And as you go along, um, you're gonna start seeing it take shape. Right now, it doesn't look like it. It probably looks like kangaroo or something, but this is what we are designing, a real simple pig. All right, so the next step is you're gonna make another bubble, bring this in, same size bubble. So we have a chubby little critter. So you want a sort of a chubby face. So you're gonna use two bubbles and you're going to twist this and bring it in lock it in with the snout and now you got this 
Next is the two little cheeks. And these are going to be two small loops, same size because you want the cheeks to be the same size. So these are two small little loops or what they call rose petals. And see, these are loops or rose petals. And that's the first cheek. The next is the other little cheek. And you want to uh, twist it around maybe once so that it doesn't come undone. But squeeze as you go along. That way it doesn't become too hard and it's flexible enough so that you can keep twisting, twisting it into shape. And the next step is the other cheek. And it's a little loop. Okay, this is what you have so far. And you put it all in place. So you have the two cheeks, the snout, the face, the ears. Next is the little neck. It is gonna be a very small bubble one inch maybe less than that next is going to be the two front legs and it's just going to be two bubbles maybe three three finger three and a half finger bubbles same it's going to be two for the front legs twist and bring it in this is the neck and now you have this so you have the legs, the neck, cheeks, snout, uh, face, ears. Next is small little body. Last, let's make it a little bit bigger. And the last is the back two legs. And what's left of, of the balloon is gonna be four the tail and piggies have tails but they're not that long so this is perfect all right so just put it all together shape it up and you got a pig last but not least you could put you could either draw in your eyes with a Sharpie. You can use googly eyes. I don't think these big eyeballs will fit there. So you could use smaller googly eyes or sticker eyes. I like using sticker eyes, but some kids like the googly eyes. They prefer those. So find something that you like or give the kid a choice. They love to have choices, and I love to give them choices. And you'd be surprised what they choose sometimes. They choose some really funny eyeballs, but that's the last step, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, let me know, and I will surely answer them. Thank you for watching.